First and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the low quality. I'm using a dated camcorder, to say the least, dated. Um, I considered using my phone, but I figured, you know, I don't want to do this in a vlog style, you know, holding it up. And, yeah, it just seemed uh, very unprofessional, especially for a research presentation, so I figured I would use a camcorder as old as it is and as low quality as it might be. I figured it's the best alternative. So the point of my research paper was covering the tiger, the poem that we covered in class, and gun control, which seemed like an odd fitting, albeit granted. But um, tiger, the poem's purpose is to cover the irony between the existence of evil and good, and the fact that evil is allowed to exist despite good knowing about it, and good's ability to end it. Good in this case being God, and evil being Tiger, or Tiger being proven to be a pseudonym for Satan, or evil, whichever interpretation you want to use. And this irony, uh, oh, and you can go further and say that evil was created by good, so that there's another layer of irony to that. Not only can evil be destroyed by good at any point, considering that good is God, and evil is Satan, but Satan was arguably created by God because he cast down the angels, being uh, being the creation of evil. So that that would be the irony that the poem covers. And in gun control, uh, the existence of guns, the gu a gun's purpose is to be capable of harming people, to be capable of hurting or possibly killing them. So the irony there is that the government pr allows the continued purchase and circulation of these firearms, which are dangerous, very prov provably dangerous, they can kill people. So that is the perceived evil of guns. And the good would be gun control itself, the... Uh, you can arguably take guns away from the citizenry, although I would certainly say that would have negative repercussions to it, but the, the purpose here is to explain that the government being the perceived good could take away or end the perceived evil being guns. And the evil there obviously being that guns can kill people and the good being able to stop them. So there's that irony. And the... The hardest part was proving that irony, to draw an accurate connection there without it coming across as increasingly contrived, and it was very difficult to do that. But I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking at my notes. Oh yeah, and I, I want to cover real quick, just briefly, that I none of this represents my actual political views nor are my political views at all relevant to the research. The research here was purely to prove that there is an irony in both the poem and the real-world issue of gun control, and that it exists. None, none of these uh, arguments about gun control in my research represent my political views, and I don't agree nor disagree with them. Like I said, and I'll repeat it again, the purpose here was to prove the irony, and that it exists in both the poem and, uh, and the real-world issue of gun control. And although I was not able to come to a conclusive solution to the real-world issue, I personally advocated for a more, say, a yin and yang. I'm sure most of you know what that, uh, what that dichotomy is, but for those of you who may be out of the loop, yin and yang is a concept that there is a little bit of evil and good, and a little bit of good and evil. That there is a balance to be struck. As long as we continue to view gun control, both sides of gun control, as either evil or good, there's, there's no way we can come to a solid solution. We can't view it as a purely white and black binary issue. There, there's many more levels to it. There, there's a lot more nuance. There's a lot more detail to be looked at. So, although I could not come to a solution, or at least a definitive solution for the issue of gun control, uh, once again, the purpose here was to point out the irony, and that it exists, and that it's not contrived, that it, it does have a solid foundation. Thank you. I look forward to answering your questions, and I thank you for your time.